all together be welcome to our technical session today I want to present today the creation of a SharePoint of SharePoint objects using the client side object model based on C sharp already uh, create a project here and my project is a Windows form solution that uh, will help to to demonstrate the different steps we have to go through here's my my solution here's the project and in this project we have to add the references of the nugget packet that means i have to select here and manage it go to manage nugget packages and uh, type here sharepoint yes when i select here sharepoint then you will see we install because i want to work with the sharepoint online so I've installed the Microsoft SharePoint online client site object model and based on that the following classes are already installed are now instantiated in my references here. You see all the SharePoint SharePoint client. Yes. Now when I open the form I want to you to use here I have create a specific special form here. In this form we have I want to show you today the first step is how to create a SharePoint site as yes, the whole SharePoint site and the second step is how to create a SharePoint list and the third one is how to create a site column and in the last one is how to add items in the specific site uh, uh, in the specific SharePoint list as yes, now the first block here how to create a SharePoint site to create a SharePoint it's important is here I need first the URL of the SharePoint site where I want to create my subsite. Let us if I copy this URL then we can see first the, the SharePoint site where I want to create. If I now in this site collection cloudo if I open the site content we can see here in the subsite that I have some tests here because I have tested the, the solution before. So now the site that I want to create, I can call it today is the 15. Then I can call this here the test 15 of September. Yes. And the description is site creation. I enter only a number here to make the difference. And now the site collect the, the site template. This one is the team site template. That means if I click now here on hit on create, you see we will first instantiate the the client context. This is the and here is the URL of our site. This is our client context. When we have initiated the client context here, okay, here is the log login uh, to log in to the application. Yes, um, and when I log in because I need to enter my password and login data and the next step <coughs> here is to then uh, create the, the, the site information object and based on this site information you will then define the different attribute of the object we want to create like the URL of the site here I take the name of the text box that we have specified and uh, and remove all the, the empty uh, space and then we will define here the title of the site the description of the site then you have i want to uh, inform to set here that the user permission will be inherited from the parent site it's set to true now we can define the template the site template that we want to use this is the, the team site template and we also can specify the language here is the code of the English language we can also define it as a parameter and now here I want to take my client object go to the site the root web and then add the site to the root object here and at the end I execute this code okay now if I open the site here and refresh this, this page a subsite and you this is our subsite now this subsite is 
empty or uh, if I look here in this side it's not empty there are some basic templates that are already created it is the theme site so here the next step is I would like to create a SharePoint list yes in this site now to create a SharePoint list the next step is I will go focus on the second block here on this block I need the URL of the site where I want to create the SharePoint list then the list name, the list description, and the list template. Now, for the SharePoint, um, for the for the URL, I will copy now the URL of the site that I have, we have created right now. I will take this, copy this URL, and put it here. And then, <coughs> for the list name, we can enter also the code here. Then this will call uh, yes list test and description and the code I think I forget the code of the list we need also a list template then I think the list template that uh, the code is hundred for the generic SharePoint list then now if we hit on create then we will I have create a specific method here with parameters that we can specify in this method the URL of the site, the, the the name of the list, and then the description of this site and the template. Now, if I go here, the first step again, the first step is to make I'll check if the list is created in under this site. If I come here and refresh this page, a new SharePoint list should be created. Yeah, here is our SharePoint list. Yes, this list now is a new list, and this is created based on the, the the generic SharePoint template that has only one column, and this is a modern list. Now, the next step of this demonstration is to create a column. As I want to create one of the column because maybe if I need more columns. The next is then focus on this block. That means here to create a column in a SharePoint list, I need first to know the URL of the site where we want to create the, the list, the where the list resides. That means I have to take first the URL of this SharePoint site here. This is the URL of the site. Now I need the name of the list. That means I have to copy the name of this SharePoint list and next is the column type the column that I want to create should be a text it can be all others but I focus now to create a text and the next the name of this column we can call it uh, see train site object model training is the name of the of the column and the description is training column okay I don't know what to say here then let us create this column now now after the login we need first to take the web object of from the uh, client context and load the, the website and execute here from here to to prepare the object the web object now from this we want to get the list or the list in this web object and so we can execute here now from here the list this collection of all the list under this website is now available and we can go through all this list and I want to make sure that I want to find exactly the list where the title is the title we have defined if I go here through it, then I have to set I set the breakpoint here to make sure that I have get exactly the list that I'm looking for on the other side and now this is the most important part where I want to create the column for the column I need to specify the the title the type is what we define here the type is the text is text the name that are the attribute that mean I need this block it is an XML uh, line and I need here the name the static name 
and the display name yes i can define other attributes but that are the attribute the name the type are required the other are not so important so here is the structure of the um, here is the structure of the code to create a new column in a sharepoint site yes if i have all this information then i can call this method i take the list or the field of the list and then add a new field as xml and to this method i want to add then this line of code and what exists it will add a new one and create here if it execute then our site column is already created we can then verify it here by refreshing this link this page if you refresh it you see here is our column a new column was now created the next step now is i would like to add some items in this sharepoint site now that we have created the column i have put another block here in this block we need again the url of the site where we want to add items that means i need again the url of my sharepoint site here and uh, next is the name of the sharepoint list the name of my sharepoint list is this one then i want to add items inside of this sharepoint list and i need the now the field the, because i open this sharepoint site open this existing list on the sharepoint site i want to add now variables on this list i have prepared one column existing on this list is title so the item that i want to create the value of title will have this one and now the other column that i have created here the next column is season and here i need to add the name the exact name of this column to open the the list settings here and in the list setting identify the column you want and because a column has here the display name but to make sure that you have the exact name is to copy it here from the URL and so I can put the column name here and for this column because name of this column and the value that I will set to this column will be here like um, yes training one yes and now when I hit on add this then here we will make a login again to the list and then we want to get the list itself by calling the client side object and the list get by title yes i want to get the target list get by title because i have the title of the list now my list is set here and i can <coughs> now open i want now to create i take the list item creation information this object will help me to set the different attribute I want to set for the specific item that I want to create. Now I create an instance of the of the item based on the information object that I've created here. And for the item, I know that in my list I have two columns. The first column has its title, it has the value new item, yes? And now the second column that I have created earlier, the name of this column is here, column name. That is the most important key of this uh, section, section. Now I set the name of the column that I have created and then I set the value of this column. The value is training one. And then I update and run and execute the code. The is created. And you see here, this item is created. And now I can create other items like training or i can call here test 15 and hit on create and you see that now i can create like many thing i want okay now let us check again and you realize that we have here all the items that are created 